Iowa has the highest radon levels in the nation, and doctors say the gas is causing hundreds of lung cancer deaths every year, so let's talk about it. Radon gas comes from radium-226, produced by the decay of uranium, a naturally occurring element in the environment. Glaciers that once covered Iowa left behind finely ground rocks containing the element, so much so that the state now has the highest average radon concentration in the United States. And it's everywhere. When the Environmental Protection Agency first mapped radon in 1993, it found high levels of radon in all of Iowa's 99 counties. It's only been in the last Last 20 years, however, that scientists connected lung cancer to the elevated radon level in homes. Lung cancer is the third most common cancer diagnosis in Iowa, yet it's by far the deadliest, accounting for around 22% of all Iowa cancer deaths. Radon is now estimated to be the second leading cause of lung cancer nationally, behind smoking tobacco. An estimated 12% of all lung cancer diagnoses are caused by radon. It is also the leading cause of environmental lung cancer death in Iowa. We currently have no requirements for testing or mitigation in Iowa homes, but that soon could change. Several cities and counties in the Meskwaki tribe now require radon-resistant new construction, a method of preventing radon gas while building instead of after. State Rep Hans Wills, a Republican from Ottumwa, introduced a bill this spring that would require home builders across Iowa to install such systems in new homes. It would also set up state tax credits of $1,000 for Iowans to install radon mitigation systems in existing homes and buildings. Seems like a better idea than spending billions on tax cuts. The bill passed the Iowa House but didn't get a vote in the Senate, even though no lobbyists registered against it. The Legislative Services Agency estimates the bill would have cost the state around $3 million in the first year, which is nothing compared to other crap we spend on. Wills told Iowa Starting Line that he did plan to bring this bill or a similar bill back to the Iowa House in 2026. Anyone can purchase a short-term or long-term radon test kit from a local hardware or big box stores. They can run from $15 to $120 for continuous radon monitoring. So we can do something about this, and we should. Read more of what I was starting line. Thanks for watching.